Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be heading off doing some photography, as you can probably see I've got my photography stuff in the back, so let's go. <laughs> Okay everyone, I'm here at RSPB Minsmere. Um, sorry about the shaky camera, I forgot one important thing for my GoPro. Um, yeah, so when you arrive, they'll always, they'll always, they'll always give you one of these, which is basically, it tells you what um, sort of birds and stuff you'll see and where. Um, and they'll always give that to anyone that visits if um, they'll always ask. Um, the other thing is, is if you're a member, you won't, they will not always automatically give you one of these. So it's always best to ask. Um, because you know, I, I'm a member, but I don't often come here as much as I'd like. So sometimes I kind of forget where, whereabouts things are. I have a rough idea, but and um yeah so that's kind of how i start my um day here another thing to um bear in mind is where the sun is so using the map just work out where the sun is because otherwise you're going to be using photoshop a lot more than you want to um but yeah i'm here with my oh, uh, super duper lens which is my 150 mil to 600 mil lens which um, is it's actually quite a good lens because I can do some macro photography but I mainly use it for the faraway stuff okay so I'm in one of the hides I'm in the one I think it's called treetop hide um, as you can see that sort of view you get there isn't a lot of activity here at the moment but yeah, this is the sort of layout you get in one of the hides one thing I should say about um, doing the action shots when you've got a bird flying is um, you basically have to um, it might you might get good shots you might not because it, it's you know the birds are quite unpredictable so you know just it's basically trial and error with the flying pass shots so yeah those are quite difficult but you know with practice you can get good at those um, but also I recommend that when you do those don't be fully zoomed in um, so my action shots are actually at 300 mil. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that if you're doing macro photography, really, really keep an eye where um, where the sun is to you because you don't really want to create a shadow. Um, so yeah, when you're out in in like the like I am today at an RSPB place is um, yeah just look to see where the sun is and try and not create a shadow over what you're taking a photo of um, if you can't avoid that um, use a, a special flash that you ca uh, I think they call it a ring flash um, I haven't got one of those so I'm going to have to do photography um yeah macro photography without a cat uh, without a, f a flash yeah i'll show you what i take photos of and um yeah enjoy <laughs> 